Hello, mate. Hello, Reggie. Somebody brought me a ball. What's this? What's this, buddy? Oh. They do love the ball, don't you? Don't you, Chance? you still got some spirit left in you, haven't you, buddy? But Reggie's getting faster than you now. See, he beat him to the ball. Come on then, Reg, bring it back. Bring it, Reg. Oh, chance. Make him jealous if this works. Oh, chance. Yes, it works. <laughs> Oh, Chance just ran into the washing line. Oh, it's a bit windy today, but it's lovely and warm. Anyway, welcome along to the vlog, folks. I know. Long time no see, as they say. Well, I think I've got a little bit of time to make a video or two today, because yesterday we opened the kitchen, and uh, while it was a relatively quiet launch, um, it went rather well, I'd say. So I'm gonna go into work this morning and uh, see what the fallout is like. I've obviously neglected the brewery somewhat over the past few weeks, so I'm also gonna to have to go in and give that a massive tidy up and get us back on an even keel. Isn't that right, Reg? So we can start to make some more fantastic beer and it really does feel like the weather's turned for the better today. Apart from the wind, it's lovely and warm. Uh, so I might even get the jet wash out and jet wash the beer garden, we'll see. Anyway, here's more Reginald and Chance before we go to worky poos. He's not interested in me, he's interested in that ball. Hey Chance. Oh buddy. Also in the loop folks. We've got our bantams in here, hello girls, <laughs> who don't lay us many eggs because they are a couple of years old now. Oh, that was silly, wasn't it? Um, but yeah, we've got some eggs in the incubator. So I was hatching out some rare breeds a couple of weeks ago and unfortunately out of the 12 eggs, we only got one. So I didn't want to have one chick on his own. So we've upgraded the incubator, that may have been the cause, you know, poor incubation temps. But we've also uh, got a brooder and some more eggs and hopefully in 21 days we'll be able to hatch out some more little chicks to accompany this little fella. So there he is. Oh, he's gone back under the brooder. We've got a little tweeter in here all on his own. And he needs a friend. You can't really raise a chicken on its own. I know he's probably going to end up being a lot bigger than the other chicks. Hello, mate. Hello, buddy. But they do catch up pretty quickly. And they shouldn't be too aggressive in this first kind of couple of months. So uh, they should all become friends. Look at his wing feathers coming through now. He really is quite a pretty little chick. I think he is a Buff Orpington or a Light Sussex. Probably not a Light Sussex with those colours. I think it was a Buff. Buff Orpington. First time we've had a Buff Orpington. Very cute little chicks indeed. Look at those feathers. Yeah, you're a pretty little man, aren't you? Hopefully not a man. We want you to be a little girl. Oh. Okay, so we're keeping him in here today with a lid on for obvious reasons. If the dogs escape the kitchen and of course if he escapes the brooder. I keep saying he and of course I should be saying she. So next to Abigail's little project that she's working on today, I'm not sure what this is, but it contains some nice little plants. Look. Looks like some type of, there's a swimming pool there, butterflies on the wall. I don't know, maybe it's some type of garden for her LOL dolls or whatever they are. Anyway, 
in here as you can see we have 12 well 11 actually I broke one I put my thumb through it we've got 11 rare breed eggs we've got all sorts in here like Sussex, Copper Morans, Orpingtons um, Well Summers uh, Black Leghorns, White Leghorns all that kind of jazz so it really is potluck what hatches and what we get out of it as it always is when you're hatching eggs but very interesting nonetheless so this is the model of incubator that we're now using it was about 60 quid off eBay and quite frankly it's not skipped to beat that 38.2 degrees Celsius has been maintained from day one anyway let's go to work there we go another label for you to check out right let's go so here we are in the cellar folks we're starting to tidy this up a little bit still a long way to go let's go upstairs and see what we've done I don't know if I showed you the gas pipe look at that beast it's massive so yeah gas pipe installed I'm sure I showed you the intake for the uh, yeah for the kitchen extraction we've got Tom's desk here there we go let's get the lights on lights camera faction action we're in so still lots of jobs to be done in the restaurant area but the kitchen's pretty much finished as you can see we have uh, the grill installed everything's been proven it works you know it actually does work this is all the food prep area that Tom's been using uh, without any problems I think we've got a lovely well stocked fridge everything correctly dated with either day dots or the proper labels there's the terrine raw meats down the bottom beautifully put together by our excellent chef of course and then let's go through into the restaurant I've put a double swingy door on here so that should make life a bit easier for the waiters and waitresses so yesterday I managed to make here we, here's one for you loads of these how do you like those little beauties so a little caddies for salt vinegar we don't have any pepper yet so that's something I'm gonna have to go and get today Um, here's one with the menu in so what's changed on the menu well a couple of things actually we decided to drop the tomahawk steak because actually holding that in stock was going to be pretty difficult uh, we pretty much have to sell what we had in stock every three days and chances of that happening are pretty slim so we've just dropped it all back and got rid of it I've tried to make the allergen advice a little bit clearer so a lot of people when I last put the video up said uh, such and such isn't vegan this that and the other isn't vegetarian blah de blah de blah and the way I'd worded it previously was if it had a vegan or a vegetarian sign with this little icon next to it this symbol that meant there was an option available for that particular style so in uh, well to make it more clear to those people who don't read properly then um, I've just got rid of that so anything with this symbol uh, there may be an option for either vegan, vegetarian or indeed gluten free and it should cover us on the allergens so just basically everything's treat everything as an allergen and uh, if you've got any special dietary requirements make sure that you convey them to the waiting staff prior to ordering any food so we did keep the ribeye steak on there we did keep the halloumi, the falafel burger the falafel burger is absolutely gorgeous um, yeah nothing else really has changed we've got mac and cheese on there and glazed chicken wings I don't know if that was there last time but anyway that's enough about the menu 
if you want to try it, get yourself down to the brew shed back, folks. So you might notice that in the background we've got these timber partitions. There we go, just keeping, um, you know, the waitresses and waitors from brushing against diners and also preventing diners putting their arms on the back of the necks of other diners, hence that one there. And then of course, we've got these two here, that one and this one. This one is accompanied by a notice board, which we've stuck up on the side. So there we go, that's a, that's a good thumbnail actually. What about if I take it from this angle? Yeah, that looks even better, doesn't it? The brew shed artisan kitchen. So as you can see, we're open Monday to Thursday, four till nine, and then Saturday and Sunday, nine till four, no dining on a Friday. And then around the front, it's just the same old, same old. We have obviously the bar. So there we go, folks. A Little bit of a uh, walk around. You can see what's changed. The diners do have a nice little area to sit now, out of the way. Oh, we painted the walls as well and put these two new lamps up. If you spot them, and put shades on these. These nice grey lamp shades. Kind of works, doesn't it? And then we've got some little bits of fake plants and stuff in the windows to dress it. It looks quite nice in here now, don't you think? I do. I do. Right. Let's go back through to the brewery and see what other jobs we have to do. Well, I've discovered the first job of the day. We've got all of this rat's nest of wiring and everything down here, which really needs to be lifted off the floor. So I'm going to pop a shelf across the back there and uh, yeah, we'll stick it up there and um, see if we can't tidy that lot up because it is pretty disgusting. Oh, it's like the old days, isn't it, folks? Back in the workshop. Still a mess from the day before, yeah. Nothing ever changes. So what we're gonna do is, um, I've got some old scaffolding boards here. They've been outside a while, but they should be fine. We're only sticking like the router on it and the CCTV hard drive. It's not really gonna be like storing glasses for the bar or anything like that. So we'll cut them to 11.50, clean them up, sand them down, put some varnish on them, maybe. They've already got, they've already been treated, look. They were the old tables out the original brew shed, you know, the little one. So they've got varnish on one side, they might just wipe down. And then we've got these off cuts of two by two. So I'm gonna cut them just a little bit longer than the, uh, scaffolding boards, we'll put like a 45 degree bevel on one end and then they can sit either side on the walls and the scaffolding board can come and sit on top of them like that and we have a shelf. It's that simple. Or, fail that, I could make it freestanding and screw these to the back and front and sit the scaffolding board on, and then take the whole thing up and place it in position, and then we don't have to screw anything into the walls. That, my friend, sounds like a better solution to me. So we'll do that instead. Time to nail the back on, folks. Time to nail the back on. Let's get it square. Away we go. Sorry about the compressor there, folks. There we go. How's that for a little shelf to put your bits and pieces on, like? <whistles> eh? Spot on, I reckon, don't you? So I'm just gonna pop 
couple of holes in the back maybe for wires to kind of zing through and uh, yeah this can go into position and we'll kind of leave it there do I even need to put the wires around the back probably not I can just bring them in and across mm, I think I'll do that and then it kind of covers the bottom of them stairs off right right let's go and get this in position Okay. See if we can have a sneak peek out front. Yeah, there's the diners. They don't know they're on, uh, on camera. So, what we've got a steak and a pie. Steak pie and a ribeye. Steak pie and a ribeye. Oh, and this is Matt, by the way. Our sous chef extraordinaire. And you've met Tom. That's oh, looking very good. I better keep myself out of the way. Oh, and here's Paige. Hello, Paige. Hi. Waitress extraordinaire. I'll take that. <laughs> That's all looking very good. It does smell nice. Right, I'll get out of the way. Fifty fifty lens a little bit now so we can zoom in and out and see exactly what's going on in the kitchen a little bit better. So we've got some parboiled chips coming out and we've got the steak burger on the grill. Oh we've got a few more tickets up there then. Yeah. Four at once, yeah. Sorry, Paige. Just push me.
This folks is a vegetarian option. The spicy falafel burger. So I've been demoted to pot washer. As you can see, we've just got some amazing dishes going out again. So I just thought I'd show you them before they disappear. Loin and chips, Harrison's beer batter. What's this little beauty? This is the linguine. Spiced red pepper linguine. Spiced red pepper linguine. With char grilled something or other. Scarlet bread. Tomatoes and char grilled garlic bread. So it doesn't normally come with the chips though, but uh, it's been ordered as a main. Oh yeah, I've never had a white bait. Do you eat the egg? Yeah, all of it. Let's eat him then. Same texture as a kipper. Yeah. Very nice. Yeah, we'll get used to them. Mm. They've got poo inside of them every fifth. Yeah. That's my best bit. All poo sat. <laughs> Delicatessen. Do it. Put away, Paige. So it's been a pretty successful night this evening. We're just wrapping up on the food orders now. And Tom's putting together a veg order, uh, which will be delivered at some point this week. Alright, Paige, you can walk through. Uh, so before we sign out, which is what I'm doing now. I'm gonna stick the 50 millimeter lens on again, and I'm gonna show you a shot of the barbecue wings, which we're gonna use this image for a social media post tomorrow. So, uh, cheers folks, and I'll see you on the next vlog. Say goodbye, everybody. Bye, everybody. <laughs> <laughs>